，释放你的超能力。那次邀您观看我们的浪潮。这是我第一次来柏林，在旅途的开始，一切都是新鲜的。这是一整个月探寻欧洲派对的旅行，我来到这里寻找各种各样 Z 时代的年轻人，试着去了解狂欢背后的他们。关于派对的旅行，自然要从柏林开始。这里被称为“派对之都”。这一切始于三十年前柏林墙的倒塌。墙两边的人走到一起，很快在同样的音乐下开始舞蹈。城市中废弃的工厂和仓库，成为派对的地点。音乐、艺术、文化，也从这些无主之地肆意生长了出来。嗯、我在柏林只待了几天，第一天晚上，我决定和 Raven 出去玩。他是个派对狂人，因为不认同多伦多竞争激烈还有充满压力的生活，所以搬到了柏林。Yeah, bitte. Ein Bier. Ein Bier, bitte. Bitte. I kind of made the decision to move to Berlin some years ago. I did that because, like, where I'm from in Toronto, Canada, I had a pretty crazy life. Hi. Hey, what's up? Lust zum Runde Billard zu spielen? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Cool. Yeah, cool. What I found really interesting about Berlin was that it's Germany, and there's a lot of German people here, but you find a lot of like artists and a lot of people from different places in the world. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! I'm getting my ass beat. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Whatever. You're not bad. You're not bad. Sorry. <laughs> it's kind of funny because everybody is just kind of themselves. Nobody's like out here like trying to like flex on people and show how cool they are, how much money they got. It's kind of anti that. I found that to be very refreshing. I feel like our society pressures. People our age so much to like success, success, like that's like everything, and like not living up to that is like something I'm having a struggle with. There's a whole lot of artists living in Berlin, but not many people making too much money from art. They all have like side hustles, and kind of like where everybody congregates usually would be in the club situation. 
never fit in. I don't come from a background that a lot of people can share the same experiences as me, so I never fit in. So what do you think of your first time here in Berlin? It's amazing. It's amazing. I want to see more about Berlin. Berlin definitely helped me to not care like what people think about me. Yeah. Because here like nobody tries that hard. Did you care before? Yeah. Other places can be uh, like really judgmental of you. Mm -hmm. Like looking at you like how much does that oh, outfit what cost? Can I get, what yeah. can I get out of like interacting with totally. you? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's kind of the opposite here. Like yeah. nobody really cares that much, it. you know. You know that you too big. to put some in the back. It's in the back. It's in the back. Exactly. Yes. This park uh, used to be an airport. Mm -hmm. You can still see the. There's like an airplane over there, for example. Oh yeah. 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 We should try to see if we can break in. Can we check if we can like get no. in something? Yeah. Why not? That would be so nice. Kind of. Yeah. Should we actually go over? I'm gonna do it. There's nobody here. Can you do it? I think so. I'm going to wait for you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we made it! Yeah. <laughs> 在穿过机场之后, Raven将我介绍给了他的朋友, Ringo, 还有Lily. 那天晚上,他们要带我去看看更多的柏林夜生活。这些柏林的新朋友都是自由职业者，很难用单一的工作去定义他们的身份。我开始意识到，大部分我遇见的人都很难用某一种职业去定义。这也许就是 去为自己营造享受生活的空间。Ringo告诉我，如果我在柏林待的足够久，那昼夜之间的差异就会逐渐消失。他说，在柏林随时都有派对，但参加派对的最佳时间其实是星期天的中午。I feel very at home here, and I like as well the openness. You feel motivated to do creative stuff without the purpose of like success. Like London is very like competition. People are very motivated in that way. They really rarely like going out in London because it is super stressful often at least to me. You have this good balance in Berlin of things not being too expensive and it is rather easy financially speaking to survive. So that was close. That was, that was fucking close. <laughs> so I always felt like it's a luxury to actually have like in my case three to four days a week where I can actually just do what I want to do. I feel like if you have like your close circle of friends and then some kind of very interesting job or ambitions, I feel like in any city it will be kind of fine. Mm -hmm. But then obviously Berlin gives you the opportunity to have like a bigger space, have more like freedom, not having to like be a slave to like make money. Oh, I think like blue is my favorite color. It smells good. Yeah, green is my color. Green? Yeah. <laughs> so blue. Wow. Almost full moon. Yeah. In two days. Yes, two days time. <laughs> I think this place is not like a real place on the earth. I think we should go there. <laughs> go where? <laughs> to the moon. Oh, go on the moon, yeah. To the other side of it. <laughs> hey guys, tell me about two things you love and two things two things you love and two things you fear for now. 
Wow. <laughs> I think I would fear that I wouldn't live wild enough. I don't have any fear for death, but I have like fear of like not experiencing enough. Just recently noticed that I'm really looking forward to just growing old. <laughs> because I have to do anything, but because it's very, very likely there's just gonna be a bunch of very, very crazy technological things happening without like just in the next yeah. few decades. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be nice to see these happen. I mean, you know, these people who get frozen, which started in the 50s, in the 1950s, where people after they I die know. get frozen in, no, the no, hope, no, yeah. in the hope to be unfrozen at a certain time and uh, point in time. Yeah. Where they would be unfrozen and still alive. Going in this direction. Maybe I'm gonna do that Immortal? Too, but I don't know if they'd laugh that or fear that. No. I think I would fear immortality. Yeah, because in some sense, then it loses its like mm. the pureness of life. Or the I think it would get boring. So, what are your? What would you say is your main love? love? I think it's love itself. Love, mm -hmm. not desire, not emotion. Just love itself. Yeah. I think it's big concept. Maybe I'm still searching for the answer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's like tricky to completely be aware of it yeah. and like, but I think that is the only purpose in life to kind yeah. of like find the answer to it mm -hmm. and not so much like the meaning of why we're here and why you're living. It's more like, I think like the purpose in life is just to find like, how do you define love in yeah. some sense? Yeah. So, all of these ideas. 所有的蓝色颜料，在我北京的生活当中都不太常见。但在柏林，你可以随心所欲做奇怪的事情，表达自己的想法，把自己的皮肤涂成蓝色，或者是你想要的任何颜色。当我看着月亮的时候，感到它很熟悉，但却是那么的遥远。柏林也是如此，它激发了我强烈的好奇心，让我想去体验更多的派对，去见到不同的人们。这也是为什么我和他们聚在一起的原因。那里有一个烧烤派对。So we got some more stuff. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, this is from the new. I, I feel like it. it's very your style. Yeah, this is what I want it. <laughs> Literally, you should wear these with the boots as well. Wow. <laughs> so you yeah. want to try this? Yes. Let okay, let's try. hang this. Here's the shoes. Yeah, the sample is super big. Can you hold? Okay. Ooh la la! <laughs> Ever. So you, so you. That actually yeah. suits you perfectly. Okay. 
What kind of media do you want to do? It actually do it everything? No, no, no. I mean, meat. Yeah, yeah. You eat all the meat? Yes, I eat meat. I thought you asked me what kind of music. No. No, you have to open the mouth and put it like no, open the mouth. Make it resonate like can you? 在派对上，我被介绍给了他们的朋友 Daniel。他是 Anton 的模特，同时也是一个摄影师。他说明天他和他的朋友 Sasha 可以带我去参观基辅。Ужасно то, что до сих пор мы понимаем, что на Донбассе идет война. Мы все надеемся, что это как можно быстрее закончится. И вот сейчас у нас новый президент, и мы все надеемся, что это поменяется. Что это происходит, и мы этого как бы не чувствуем. Мы здесь отдыхаем, проводим время хорошо, и нам кажется, что все классно. Но люди на самом деле до сих пор умирают там, и мы хотим, чтобы это уже закончилось поскорее. Sasha is a painter, a painter, and a painter. She is also a painter. She is like my friends in Berlin. She is not able to define her own career. She is now in the painter of the painter. She is very happy. Hello. 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 And more close, like here and just like in water, but okay. Yeah, you do. Good, good job. Daniel 告诉我，七年前他和姐姐决定离开战火纷飞的家乡，搬到基辅。Все мои братья, у меня много я бы, у меня многодетная, многодетная семья. Water is super cool. Семь детей, я седьмой. Ну кто какими путями? И просто там никаких вариантов нет оставаться. Ну в плане в любом случае все будет плохо. Ты или останешься наркоман, ну будешь наркоманом, или попадешь в тюрьму, или попадешь в тюрьму. Все, кто вообще абсолютно все, кто приезжает обычно, снимают что-то про Украину, они в основном делают не так, как нужно, и не показывают не то, что нужно. Типа они пока хотят выставить ее в другом свете, а на самом деле, если задуматься, тут столько талантливых людей, которым не хватает толчка какого-то. I used to live in Berlin, yeah, like for, for long? but for a few months. Okay. But I didn't like it so much. Like, it's too much for me because okay. I'm I'm more chill. Like yeah. I'm, I don't like parties. Like I like the vibe there, people there, but I don't like party, going party hard like every time. 
and for me it's like kind of not my city. I do my photography. Делаю документальную фотографию о Украине, о людях здесь. Типа пытаюсь показать их не с точки зрения бедности, а просто как о людях, у которых есть, у которых был жизненный опыт, на которых отпечаталась типа жизнь. Сплоченности людей — это не бедная страна. В плане вообще всего — это не бедная страна. Тут каждый имеет свою историю, и каждый сильный по-своему. I don't know actually. I'm just trying to chill. I'm just thinking about skateboard. How sad. Единственное, ну вот, если честно, я боюсь, что я не смогу самореализоваться полностью. Вот это мне самая страшная вещь, типа, в чего я боюсь с детства, типа, что мне не получится то, что я делаю. Это город Никополь, Днепропетровская область. Нет. Типа, все дети с детства, они привыкли зарабатывать зарабатывает деньги, типа, разными путями. А наебали Ну и это было нормально, ходить на кладбище с друзьями, собирать еду, и ты потом приносишь домой, и потом месяц можешь есть, и потом можешь есть кучу сладкого, потому что там оставляют много конфет, печенья. Разные вообще штуки там оставляют. Мы даже с другом накидывали как-то 200 гривен, кто-то оставил. Например, для бомжей там прикольно, там оставляют типа водку, 50 грамм, или что это такое. Ну тут же рано, ты знаешь. Нет, это это за жизнь, а сейчас... Дэнил и Саша отошли. 说实话，我很难感同身受。他们现在的生活看上去非常的充实和精彩，可是我没有办法真正体会到他们内心的困境。去了他的梦想派对。这是一辆载满他最喜欢的人的巴士。当巴士在城市当中到处穿行，我们也跳了一整个晚上的舞。在基辅，就像柏林一样，城市的历史和纷乱塑造了当下最有活力的年轻人。无论是好还是坏 ，Anton、Anastasia、Sasha 还有 Daniel， 他们都在享受着属于他们的时代。真的很难跟基辅说再见。因为在基辅的这段时光当中，我感觉到了被接受，被填满，哪怕只是一个瞬间。这也许就是基辅人要去派对的原因吧，因为分享爱和温暖会让人完整，哪怕他们是如此的短暂。
Можешь меня?